Look at the height here with Sean Noel. Um, one of the highest reaches up that we need to just get to the bar in contrast to some of our taller uh, Yeah, taller but what's going to play to his strength is, uh, you know, smaller, uh, it's better ratio for the strength to height. Um, and he's right, so Thompson, strong. You could, oh, he is doing the switch sir, grip. Yeah, I, I would guess that he would just strategically. Smart approach. Leaving the toes on the platform. Good whip. Wow. wow. Look at that. Yep. What body control. Well, well, Sean could easily be here. a finisher in my my mind here. Absolutely. Just based on the skill set. But you could say that about every one of these ninjas, I'm guessing. Yep. This For sure. Nice pullback. Nice moves here. We here. Go. Grabbing the very far efficient end of those normally. Blocks. Actually, going back to what we were talking about before. Look at that big swing, guys. If, if you've never tried a cliffhanger before, I can tell you it takes a long time for people just to be able to develop cliffhanger strength, just to be able to hang from a cliffhanger. Now put it on a string so that it tilts back as you grab it, and then make a huge reach so that you basically have to like almost iron cross between a cliff and a and a ring, or a cliff and a cliff, two cliffs. Uh, the level of athleticism in these athletes it's kind of unfortunate that we don't have like some uh, some right. how should i that put a, it that some was a beginner big level athletes or something right One to show how point difficult point. this is this is not Good wow point. grabbing the nice front correction edge. nice correction he this barely got to easy. that first one from a tramp standpoint it, it's a big yeah. jump for a shorter ninja right. yeah so nice and efficient here so and if I had, move to the salmon. If I had to score the difficulty of these obstacles, I would say uh, at the high end of the elite status, being able to traverse, beautiful. Look at how high he's going with his body, showing a lot of power, a lot of energy. If I had to score these obstacles, I would say high end of elite. So not just elite status where like you're going up and down a salmon ladder, no problem. This is and actually he went up on that one. Or did he go up on that one? I think he did because of the reach being more critical. Which was Sean pulling up, nice move, good move. Nice strong move, up upper body. To he's gonna get to that. He's got tremendous finger grip strength. I think he's gonna clear this. We're sitting at a minute. Yeah, he's, he's got a minute. He's got plenty of time. And this is, he's got unbelievable core and unbelievable kick. So the throw is very possible for him here. With plenty of time on the clock, there's no reason not to see a clear here, unless he makes a big mistake. This should be our first clear. Nice jump. Looking comfortable. Watch this guy's kick. This guy's kick typically is really strong. 30 seconds. See the there we core go. engagement. There we Big go. swings. Taking extra swings to make sure that he's right on top of there. Beautiful grab. Sean has got 20 seconds to go. The crowd's going nuts. Our first he competitor be to, to make it to this point. Nice easy kick. Yeah! Now he's got to go to the platform. He's got to do a sideways kind of awkward diagonal lache. He's got eight seconds, seven seconds. seconds. Seven seconds. Seven. Cutting it down. Oh, no. His swing is getting wacky. He's got to change direction. He's going in the opposite direction. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. What? Unbelievable. We're talking a quarter second of a miss about being able to get that was incredible and unbelievable I have to say, for him to be in the total opposite swing direction that he wanted wow. and then in one swing correct it and land to the platform was